people are usually using the subdivision area for jogging and sports. We are using it for a side road coffee. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have time to have coffee at home, so then have to do it on the side road. We are with Benson, my cousin, with yes. Pixel. With Benson, <laughs> walking Pixel. They are at least actually doing some kind of activity, <laughs> which this place is usually for. But the real reason why we came here, because finally I dedicated myself to learn driving. Because as you can see in the vlogs, we are always with our scooter during our adventures, but it's always only Jonathan who is driving. I've never learned how to drive. Finally, it's going to be time for it. I used to practice a little bit with our old scooter, but that was many, many years ago and I completely forgot everything. We came to this empty subdivision now to practice, but like I said, coffee has to come first. In the heat. In the heat. Nothing better than a hot cup of coffee in the heat. Oh, I'm already falling. <laughs> Not even on the scooter yet. And then you have to hold the brake. Holding? Twist and brake. Okay. And just slowly. Bye. Okay. <laughs> this is my parking technique. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> left, left. My hand. <laughs> You're holding on too tight. <laughs> yeah, it already hurts. I need to rest it. Next time I'm driving us to Baguio. Benson, shout out. <laughs> shout out to Diane. <laughs> okay, Jonathan and Benson left me. Now I'm on my own for the first time. So let's see how it goes. Oops, I turn. But I think I'm pretty good at this. This could be like a motto vlog, guys. I'm always just an uh, awesome back ride behind Jonathan. Being on the front of the scooter is so much more fun. I will see how fast I can go. There's like a straight road ahead of me. I won't like speed up, of course. It will be just an impressive speed for my beginner level. Maybe I can reach like 30. <laughs> Let's see. Go. Go fast, guys. 30, 31, 32, 33. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be under my first race. Jonathan will ride Benson's motorcycle, but I'm warning you, I already went with 35. I will go 40. <laughs> Cameraman. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm a moto vlogger. I was a moto vlogger. That was fun. It went a lot smoother than I expected. I learned a lot quicker than I thought I would. So that was a lot of fun, but of course I will still need to practice until I'm ready to go to the road. Yeah, I'm super happy that it went better than I thought. Hello! And now we are in Palayan city. Grabbed the best street food in the area and actually it's the best street food I think that I ever tried in the Philippines. So we always come back here. Lumpian gulai and what they have is always so fresh and tastes so good and they also have this thing 
It's like okoy, but it's only kalabasa, so it doesn't have shrimp. It's like a fried, um, like um, kalabasa, um, squash type of thing, and it's just so, so, so good. And they also have like the best suka sauce ever. I'm addicted to suka, and it's the best, best I've tried so far. They said what? Yeah, the quiet someone is Oh, <laughs> over there. Yeah, that guy is doing the park. <gasps> they are so nice. Jonathan said the traffic enforcers behind us just shouted to be quiet because someone is vlogging. That's the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> now, now I'm touched. <laughs> like chili, garlic, onions, and they use some type of like special vinegar. It's not just a regular white vinegar, and it's like oh, my mouth is watering so much. I need to take a bite. Oh, it's still so hot. <laughs> Yeah, even the I delete it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> good. 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 Best food in the world. <laughs> so full of veggie goodness. <laughs> Also while eating I wanted to share a few thoughts about driving and traffic here because I always see this topic being discussed and actually there are a lot of foreigners asking for advice when they are coming here for a holiday, if it's dangerous to drive here, if they will be fine renting a car or a scooter or they better just stick to public transportation and me as a fresh one day old driver I can share some experience because even though I just started driving I'm always a buck ride behind Jonathan so I see quite a lot and of course everything here is very different than for example in Europe where I'm from there's a lot more vehicles on the road and there's less like street signs that would like help you navigate also there are of course many different type of public transportations that doesn't exist for example in Europe like the tricycles and the jeepneys and you will of course need to pay attention on those and be aware because sometimes they like suddenly pull to the side when they see potential customers who might ride so all of these you will need to um, pay attention to because like someone coming from Europe or other countries won't be used to this so it might be a challenge to drive but but for me I don't think <laughs> that I will have any type of problem since I never drived before back at home so this will be like the regular environment where I will learn driving so I think like this it's not going to be that much of a challenge it might be challenging for those who are used to a different driving environment so for those who are coming from abroad you will need to see it first if you think it would be fine for you to drive here or no but I think I will be okay since this is the kind of um, environment that I'm used to. I'm used to the tricycles, uh, motorcycles. So I'm really hoping that I won't face like any special challenge driving here but later on when I will actually go to the roads then I will be able to share more personal experience with you. Also it depends what place you are planning to drive if it's Manila or the province because just because there are more vehicles and less um, street signs it doesn't mean at all that there are no traffic rules actually in Manila it's a lot more strict um, and there are many rules that's why even us don't really drive around in Manila usually we prefer to use public transportation in provinces and islands it's uh, less strict and also less traffic so I think anyone who knows how to drive would be fine a lot of foreigners are renting scooters to get around you will just need to be aware of people overtaking and people walking on the side of the road but you should be fine now I need to clean my GoPro from my street food hunts. Sorry, GoPro. We are getting our Xerox now. Hello. <laughs> but look at this, guys. While we are waiting for our photocopies, there are so many intriguing things here displayed. <laughs> Stuff that is displayed for kids. Because there's the school. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the school is over there. And they have like school supplies and Xerox. But this is what I'm very interested in <laughs> I've been staring at it the whole time we were waiting for the Xerox candy lipstick with an anime girl <laughs> so now I want to get one what, what what would you like would you like a little this song I want this one 
you want a lipstick or something? Stuff that are for kids are always so much fun and a lot of like artificial, <laughs> unhealthy looking but fun looking snacks. Tak tak. Tak tak candy. Frozen tak tak. Nice. It's cool though, good for the kids. There's the school, um, it's in Palaya city. And right next to it, there's like little street food stalls and like this Sarok school supply and fun stuff shop. Basically like a sari sari, but like kids specific. But this is what I truly want. <laughs> nice. And now we are back home and it's also going to be the end of this video. I just wanted to say that in the next video we are going to Manila again and we are actually going to be visiting a place that you guys recommended to us in the previous video's comment sections. So I'm super excited for that and besides that it's also going to be the day when I finally really start um, the real process of getting my permanent resident visa. Until this point we were only running around back and forth to Manila to get all the necessary documents documents to just be able to start the whole process so I'm super excited to share more about this in the next video but for today this is all and I hope you liked it if you did then please subscribe and we will see you next time in the next vlog bye